Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at the re records of Bastard Magical Instructor. I have no idea if I said that correctly or not. Episode 5. So, this week's episode, though, was a little bland at the beginning, but for the most part got a lot better near the end. Um, that's kind of sometimes, I think, how the show works at its best, is that it either starts off with a bang... Or kind of has it more toward the end. It's one of those, you know, usual, I want to say atypical, magical type shows. Uh, we learn a little bit more about Rumia, her background story, obviously. Uh, we finally get to see the queen in action, more so with uh, just her meeting up with Rumia and stuff like that, which was nice. Uh, we, <laughs> we saw a very interesting scene with uh, Glenn using magic of his own to make him look like Rumia. And that was what that was interesting because Sisti actually almost fell for it up to the point that Rumia came back in the in the background. And she's like, "Oh, there's two of me. That's weird." <laughs> I thought that that was actually really clever. I thought that was funny. Um, for the most part, though, when they actually really hit the highlight of the episode was when uh, the guards go after Rumia, and that was where I felt the episode got a lot better because we saw the whole scenes of you know Glenn coming in to save the day, etc. For the most part, you know. I don't want to say this was a weak episode compared to the last few, but it wasn't as powerful as the last few episodes. You know, this show still, to me, is definitely getting a lot better, obviously. And I've been talking about that nonstop on both Twitter and on here, where I've really enjoyed, you know, the Magical Instructor series. It's, it's getting a lot better. You know, the first episode, even the second episode, didn't hook me that well. But the third and fourth and so far have been very interesting. And now we're at the fifth episode, obviously, we're going next week with the sixth. I have a lot of hope for the show because we're starting to see also Glenn's past in this. Like, they actually showed a scene of him, like, standing over a whole bunch of corpses, it looked like. That was very interesting. So, Glenn clearly had some, you know, very dark, like, background story that he hasn't fully gone into detail with. But I'm presuming soon we're going to get a full thing of that. Or at least enough that we can kind of piece together everything. Because they did call him the mage killer. So, I'm presuming because, of course, obviously, he's not a mage user, really. He can use some magic, but not a lot of it. You know, he was put into the war as a warrior that could go against them more efficiently than I think even mages could go against other mages. But for the most part, guys and girls, that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. You know the whole nine. I will talk to you guys later when I review Suka Suka. Uh, it should be out around 2 o'clock, maybe 3 o'clock today. I'm not 100 percent sure. If it's out a little bit later tonight, I'm sorry about that. It's just probably because I have some other stuff to do. So I'll talk to you guys then. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.